What's got two sphincters, its own brain, and acidity strong enough to burn skin? It's your own stomach. And today, we're going to review some of the amazing features of the humble tummy. By the end of this video, you'll believe me when I say, you've got guts. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. Thanks to its incredibly strong acidity, your stomach can break down food and even handle substances that would make most other parts of your body cringe. Now, you might be asking yourself, how come my stomach acid doesn't just dissolve my body and stomach? Okay, weird that you're thinking of ways to dissolve yourself, but we have an answer for that. Your stomach's acid production is indeed a marvel of regulation, orchestrated by a complex symphony of brain signals, hormones, and protective mechanisms. The acidity of that lovely stomach juice comes from hydrochloric acid. Despite this gastric acid being released multiple times a day, your stomach manages to avoid self-digestion through several ingenious strategies. One of these defenses involves specialized cells in your stomach that produce mucus and bicarbonate, creating a protective barrier that maintains a near-neutral pH along the stomach's walls. Other protective chemicals like nitric oxide, hydrogen sulfide, and calcitonin gene-related peptide also contribute to regulating stomach acid levels and fortifying the organ's lining. Okay, so we know the stomach is a powerhouse in digestion and acid making, but did I mention it even has its own brain? We like nicknames around here, and scientists often refer to the enteric nervous system, or ENS, as the second brain. The enteric nervous system is like having a secret agent inside you, working tirelessly to keep things running smoothly while also affecting how you feel. It contains millions of neurons that govern the function of the gastrointestinal system and can even operate independently of the central nervous system, though they still communicate extensively. And here's a mind-blowing fact. Previously, it was believed that mood disorders like depression and anxiety cause functional bowel problems like IBS. But recent studies lead scientists to believe the digestive system can also be the cause of these mental mood changes. I can't believe you'd give me a bad mood after I gave you creme brulee. We don't think much of someone saying their stomach is in knots when they're nervous or going with their gut when making a decision based on intuition but these idioms have more literal connotations than you might think. The brain-gut link allows emotional experiences to manifest as physical sensations in your stomach, like when feelings of anxiety translate into stomach discomfort. It's your brain and gut working together to give you that gut feeling. So now, scientists study the human digestive tract for more than just its ability to provide our body with nutrients and energy. This significant link between digestion and our mood, thoughts, and mental well-being have opened up a whole new can of worms, which is exciting. How about that? Your stomach is an organ armed with acid strong enough to break down your dinner, but clever enough not to digest itself. It's like a fortress in there with a whole crew of defenses keeping it safe. So next time you get a gut feeling or have butterflies in your stomach, remember that your ENS is your BFF. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you want to watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.